We've got Winnipeg, New York Rangers. Next game, 53-54. We got Winnipeg, a pretty hefty road favorite, minus 156 uh, is the total, about minus 115 to minus 120 right now. And uh, from a Winnipeg Jets perspective, hey, it's a team playing very good hockey outside of a third period that went awry for them against the uh, Nashville Predators. And again, losing to Nashville, there's no shame in that. They're a fantastic team. But outside of that, this has been really good uh, work from the Winnipeg Jets for uh, an extended period of time. Uh, they're 7-2 and two in their last nine games. Look at some of the teams they've beaten during that time too. Washington, Florida, uh, you know, who's now red hot. We'll be talking about them later in the show. St. Louis, Dallas, uh, you know, the, the Nashville game was there for them. They were up 5-3 in that game. They lose at 6-5. That's, and then, of course, they bounce back after that. They beat uh, Detroit 4-3. They beat Carolina on the road 3-2. So there's some good wins that this Winnipeg team is registering. Jeez, it's just right on the edge of the cliff uh, for me this uh, side here with Winnipeg in terms of the price I'm willing to lay here if it comes down ever so slightly I will absolutely go in on Winnipeg here even though even now still lean that way here uh, with the Winnipeg Jets you got the New York Rangers not only the inferior team in this game but uh, they're coming off you know a Western Canadian road trip first game back following that road trip although it was a very impressive road trip New York Rangers here they are selling parts at the deadline looking like they're waving the white flag looking like they're more concerned about the future and, and building prospects, picks, starting fresh, rather than making a, a run at the playoffs here. And yet, what do they do? <laughs> they go on the road inexplicably to Western Canada. They win 6-5 in Vancouver, 3-1 in Calgary, 3-2 in Edmonton, although they were heavily, and I mean heavily, outshot in all three of those games. Henrik Lundqvist and the Georgiev combination in net for the uh, New York Rangers uh, was absolutely terrific for them uh, in net. Uh, and uh, yeah, even this Alexander Georgiev, who's gotten some starts lately uh, to offset Lundqvist, particularly on back-to-back -back nights, he's played really well uh, for the New York Rangers. However, uh, the Rangers are giving up way too many shots, way too many chances. You look at the Rangers still the last several games, yeah, last nine games, 35, 33, 37, 41, 37, 34, 55, 51, 37 shots allowed. That's too much. Winnipeg's the kind of team that's going to pounce on that. So I'm actually going to go over this total here, six uh, at minus 115 in this hockey game, Jets and Rangers, because I do believe the Jets are capable of feasting on horrendous, horrific uh, de uh, teams defensively. I still think the Rangers are not good in their own end. They're, they're sort of, they were sort of able to get away with it against a Vancouver team that offensively, eh, they're okay. They're not great. Calgary can't, you know, can't put a puck in the ocean right now. Last night, they finally got out of their shell a little bit. Calgary put some goals on the board, but Calgary's not been very good offensively as of late. Edmonton, even Edmonton lately, not exactly lighting it up. So facing this Winnipeg team is going to be a little bit of a new challenge here for uh, the New York Rangers and trying to shut them down. I mean, obviously, they only allowed, you know, one goal to Calgary, two goals to Edmonton. They did allow five to Vancouver. Uh, I think they're going to be challenged here by this Winnipeg team. I mean, you get look at this Winnipeg team on the power play right now. They're absolutely lighting it up. Uh, Winnipeg has scored a power play goal now uh, in five uh, of their last six games. Six, actually, you can go back even further than that. They have scored at least one power play goal, the Jets, uh, in seven of their last eight games. Very impressive with the man advantage. Uh, that's not, not going to spell well here for the Rangers. So uh, to me, I, I, if this line trickles down just ever so slightly more, Get, I can get a 40-45 uh, price with Winnipeg instead of 50-55. I'll, I'll definitely get in on the Jets. But for now, stronger play to the over here in this game for me. Uh, over 6 minus 115. This is also on Dana's card. Jets and Rangers. Dana, what do you like here? Yeah, and, uh, and that 150 range too, Ian. It's not... I'm not looking for a 150, 155. I need a one. I, I need a strong 150. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not looking to go over that. At, you know, very much as we talked about, minus a dollar fifty is kind of our threshold. And uh, I don't. I don't want to get involved in. You know, I mean, I have three accounts. Okay, so the fact the fact of the matter is, if if it's a 150 game and it's a 155 and mo and all three of those accounts, I'm not getting involved just because I can see I can find a 150 somewhere. So it's got to be a, a strong 150 across the board for me. But as far as uh, this game is concerned, I mean, obviously we're 
going to see what Ranger team we got, you know, a- after the de- trade deadline when we thought, hey, look, you know, they're um, they're going to be they're done, they're sellers, which they absolutely w- were. But um, you know, there's sometimes when you when you get to a point where you're relaxed, the expectations are kind of off of you, then you start playing gray hockey, and and that's kind of what they've done. Again, like you said, they're not very good in their own end, but you know, at least they're winning games. And you know, don't look now, but they're only five points behind Columbus for the last you know playoff spot in the East, which would be you know if they made the playoffs. I mean, that's that's probably something nobody has expected them to do. But uh, before we start getting excited about this team, let's remember they are going back to Madison Square Garden. And usually that's a positive, but in this case, it might not be a positive because Henrik Lundqvist has been absolutely horrible on home ice uh, and ice that's ice surface. That's horrible. Anyway, he's given up 20 goals in his last uh, five home games. And so for me, it's, you know, I, I don't know what kind of what I'm going to get from Lundqvist. I don't really know what I'm going to get from the Rangers. You know, sometimes when you go on the road, you play better because there's no pressure. Go back to New York and there's all kinds of pressure to, to play well. And, and some Sometimes your weaknesses are exploited um, or brought to brought to light. And I think, uh, you know, their weaknesses, their weakness definitely is on the defensive end. So and, and now you get, you know, you get a Lundqvist that's facing one of the best offensive teams in a league. I mean, uh, certainly an elite offensive team, uh, definitely an elite power play unit. So could I envision Winnipeg getting four or five goals tonight? Absolutely. So. Um, I, I think the Rangers do have enough offense uh, from to uh, to get us over over that number. Uh, I think you're getting uh, the Rangers power play has been pretty good. So uh, at least that's reliable. So I can I can envision the Rangers at least getting, you know, a couple goals to push this game over the total. But uh, for me, it's a, it's minus a dollar ten at five dimes. And I like this. Uh, I like this game to go over the total. All right, so we got uh, Dana and me both uh, on the over here, Winnipeg and the New York Rangers. Yeah, to me, Winnipeg should be able to find uh, the scoreboard. Like, basically, you're going to probably be able to count on Winnipeg scoring at least three goals in this game because that's basically well, what can, they've done now in nine straight. Yep. You, you can count on the opportunities. That's yep. for sure. I mean, I'm yeah, not going. Sure. I never am going to go into a game hoping that both goaltenders st- stand on their heads, and, and in a game that I know that there is going to be 70 to 75 shots in. If I have two teams that I think they're going to have 70 to 75 shots, I am definitely going over the total regardless, because you know I'm I'm going to rely on those offensive opportunities a lot more than I'm going to rely on those goaltenders to stand on their heads. Yeah, and some of these shot counts, uh, I mean, out of those 75 shots that Dane is expecting, I mean, 55 of them could come from Winnipeg. I mean, look at 55-51 <laughs> given up two of the last three Rangers games, shots on goal, way too much. And, you know, they're very fortunate they played Vancouver, Calgary, some of these teams. And Calgary, to me, has been disappointing lately in terms of offense, although they did get Michael Furlan back last night. Uh, in that game against Pittsburgh. He's going to help out that top line because he had something going that, with them before he got hurt with uh, Monaghan and with Johnny Hockey Goudreau. Uh, so you're going to want to watch that. But prior to that, Calgary, even offensively, had not done a whole lot. So there's going to be a tall order, I think, for this uh, New York Rangers team tonight from a defensive perspective trying to get the uh, trying to hold this Winnipeg team. In ch- I mean, everybody on Winnipeg's li- – Patrick Lyon is just blazing hot right now. He's been fantastic. He's been – incredible for the Winnipeg Jets as of late lethal shot one of the best releases in the NHL just quick release accurate puts it right in the spot where it's unstoppable for any goaltender uh definitely uh you got a guy right now in Patrick Lyon who's uh feeling it right now uh, offensively for the Winnipeg Jets and that's not even mentioning all the other uh, players that can break your back offensively for this team the Wheelers and the Littles uh, and Shifley and go on to it's just too well t- the, offensively they are as deep as it gets they're right there with Toronto Pittsburgh teams like that in the NHL in terms of their depth of uh, of uh, game breakers uh, at the offensive end of the ice Winnipeg has them so we expect some goals uh, Dana and I both like in the over there Winnipeg and the New York Rangers 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.